going on everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope this video finds you well. Um, got some things to throw down on the table today and uh, some information for you guys. The first one, if you don't know about it, I've actually been posting about it on a couple of different places, but I haven't been broadcasting it big yet because I wanted to see what I could do on its own. Um, I started a second channel. And you may be saying, why did you do that? Well, the reason why I did that is because I wanted to take something content wise off of this channel that I felt like was not um, very popular on the channel. Uh, what I have done is I have started a channel um, over, well, <laughs> the other channel uh, is MTO Productions. Basically, it's about my filming, it's about my photography, it's about everything to do with photography, everything to do with filming. I have put that on a separate channel, um, so I probably won't be talking about it on here anymore. Um, let me know what you think. Give me your personal thoughts. Go check out the channel. Go check out the different things for it. Um, right now, it is strictly YouTube only. There's nothing else out there in the world. Um, I basically, I'm calling when I'm filming and stuff as MTO Productions. So that's what it boils down to. If I eventually turn this into a business, it'll be MTO Productions. Um, so I'll leave the link to the channel down below. If you want to go check it out, if you want to subscribe, that's up to you. If it's not your forte, I understand that too. Um, I'm hoping to put good, useful content on it and I'm not going to, I'm thinking on it, I'm going to keep the videos down to maybe either one a week, maybe possibly two a month. So I may space them out, but what I may do is dump shorts on the channel. Nothing but shorts. Um, so we'll see how that progresses, which way I go with it. If I feel like it's a waste of time and you tell me down below, if you think it's a waste of time and you'd rather see the, that kind of stuff on here, that's fine. I'll put it back on here. But if you prefer it not to be on this channel, then that's fine too. I know it's my channel, but I wanted to keep the, the channel more outdoorsy. Outdoorsy gear, outdoorsy doing stuff, whether it be whatever. You know, you know, been wanting to get back into fishing. Just had not done it yet, but we'll see. So, wanted to throw that bombshell down. The second bombshell, if you want to get your mid-10 merch, I will leave a link down to the Teespring store. I've got everything from uh, coffee in the uh, coffee and woods is all I need. T-shirt, regular mid ten outdoors T-shirt, actually says MTO on it. MTO with the um, or mid ten outdoors with the on the road again, and then for you Jeep and off roader guys, I have a new shirt that I came up with. I'll drop a picture right now. It is called the diff tickler. Now, if you've been off-roading and you have banged your diff off of a rock, you know what I'm talking about. If you've cracked your diff open on a rock, this t-shirt's all about you. So, like I said, I just dropped that picture of it. Um, I came up with that a long time ago, me and Bill were out wheeling, and I said something about a hand coming up out of a rock doing this to the rear end of a Jeep or a four-wheel drive or whatever. I used a Jeep pitcher, stock stock pitcher for the t-shirt. Now, if you're still with me, Chloe has had her leg surgery. Uh, you saw us in Chattanooga. That was the week before. We're right now, we're a week post-op of the surgery as of today. I'm filming this on a Friday. Um, she's doing really well. Um, still has some pain from the surgery itself, but the pain that she used to have all the time is pretty well gone. So I would call that a success on the um, surgery. 
Uh, like I said, pain from the surgery itself is there. It will take time to heal. They say in three months before she can drive again. Um, the way he talked, for the next six months, she'll be icing it every evening, you know, when she gets home from school or whatever. Of course, right now it's summertime, so she's, you know, kind of hanging around the house anyway. Um, so, <laughs> another summer, she's going to have to be kind of down. Uh, it was like that a few years ago when she broke her arm. The first, I think it was the first day out of school, they went to a skating party. She'd never skated before. And it showed because she broke her arm. Um, so this year, why not you know have surgery on your leg? But basically, I'll boil it down. She had a tear in the ligament up around the hip socket. Now, the worst part about it, we, you know, I've said for years she should not have leg pain, being her age. But she's always had leg pain that went started in her hip, went all the way down. Finally got a good doctor at Vanderbilt. He got to digging into it, and we went and see another doctor, which is a bone and joint. I don't know why that was so hard to say, but bone and joint doctor. Basically what he was saying is here's your hip, here's, or here's your, uh, hip socket and here's your hip you know it rolls around in there like a ball well the thing is her hip socket her hip was like my fist a square so she was getting leg pain from it tore a ligament like I said it's starting to tear a ligament they stitched it up and then they went in and reshaped the bone now she's taking um, anti-inflammatories and stuff like that to uh, the main thing is, is not to let the bone growth come back as a square again, but stay round. So there's a lot of things she's having to work through. Uh, physical therapy twice a week right now. Uh, she's doing really good with it. They were really shocked at how well she's walking. She's walking with a walker. Um, 50, I'd say 90% of the weight is on the foot, on the leg. So she's doing really good. Uh, really proud of her. Um, we're glad and hope this is a chapter in her life that she can move, you know, shut the book on that, you know, that leg pain is going to be completely gone for good. Um, there's still something down the road she might have to do, but it was not a you have to do type deal. We're thinking, the doctors are thinking, this guy at Vanderbilt was a really good doctor. Uh, when I say he was a really good doctor, he's the Nashville SC uh, soccer team's bone and joint doctor. He also is the bone and joint doctor for the Nashville Sounds. And normally he does not work on individual cases that much. Uh, it has to be something rare or somebody suggests him. And that was how we got him, was uh, another doctor at Vanderbilt works with him from time to time, and he highly recommended him. And he took a look at it and said, yeah, I can fix this. It's no problem. It's outpatient surgery. We went in. Uh, she was in surgery for about two and a half hours, and we came home that night, that afternoon, actually. Went through and got her some ice cream. She wanted ice cream. But uh, not to say it's been an easy road. Last week, it's been... You know, the first couple days were kind of rough for her, but it's getting better. It's getting a lot easier. Uh, and will as the time goes on. So, um, the next, um, I would say the next big hurdle is to get through the, uh, you know, get everything back to 100%, which they're saying, you know, could be up to three months. But that the hard part's over. Uh, like I said, walk with a walker. Um, eventually she'll walk with one crutch and hopefully get rid of that soon after that. Um, so anyways, hopefully uh, we can move on and uh, we get to do some things together again this year. Uh, that's why she really hasn't been in many videos. Uh, the last YouTuber meetup was actually the last camping trip she went on. Um, she was, I think she was hurting pretty bad when we got home from that trip. and. So we did that hike here not too long with Jenna and Jenna did go with us to Chattanooga. We did a lot of walking in Chattanooga, but she had some, she actually was able to get in the pool both nights and kind of swim it out a little bit and make it feel a little bit better, but she still was hurting. So for the fact that, you know, 
she's going to be beyond the leg pain for the first time in her life. It's probably pretty amazing to her, too. And we're very thankful. But that's it for this one, guys. Uh, I hate to throw one down like that, but that's what I'm doing. If you want to go check out the new channel, go check it out. Uh, you'll see some things way different than you will in mid Outdoors. So I uh, appreciate everything. appreciate everybody watching. Uh, let your comments go down below. Let me know what you think about the new channel. If you think it's kind of silly, you think keeping the stuff on this channel is fine, you let me know. Like I said, it just started. I uh, don't have to keep it going, but I will use it for other things if I have to. So that's it for this one. It's probably really long-winded. Yeah, it's like 10 minutes longer than it should be probably. I appreciate you watching, guys. Be prepared. See you on the next one. Mm -hmm.